Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today's video is going to cover the tamale, not the food, the braiding technique. The tamale is a way of shortening rope, cord, or leather strings. It makes braiding easier since it helps you avoid tangling. It is commonly used in whip making as well as other braiding where you're using long pieces of cord. So let's take a look. Here you can see me braiding a four stranded round braid using the help of the tamale. So basically I have one tied onto each of my cords. This shortens them and makes braiding much easier. So I can easily braid like this and when one of my cords runs short I simply pull more cord out of the tamale. Perhaps I tighten it up a little bit and I can continue braiding. So that's the use for the tamale, giving you cord when you need it and keeping it out of the way when you don't. So how do you make a tamale? I'm going to show you two distinct ways. First, the basic, more common one. You take your strand and you begin tying figure eight shapes. Like this. Figure eights until you have only a little bit of cord remaining. So something like this. At this point we're going to tie off our tamale using some sort of a hitch or knot. Commonly two hitches are used. So one hitch and the second one done exactly the same way like this. And this is a perfectly functional tamale. Alternatively, you could use a cow hitch, again tying your first hitch, like this, and the second one, like this, forming a cow hitch. Both ways work. Basically, when you pull out a bit of your cord, you tighten up your hitch. And then you pull a bit more out, and again tighten up. My favorite way for securing a tamale is by using a constrictor knot. This is a very secure way of holding your tamale together. To do it, take your strand and pass over your turns. Come around and pass over your initial turn, creating an X shape. Come around like this. Now we're going to pass over this strand, so the left one, and pass under the X shape, like this. So in between the two chords on the bottom, and in between the two cords at the top. 
pull on the end to tighten up your constrictor knot. And this is a very secure way of holding your tamale together. You can now remove a bit of cord out of it and then simply retighten your constrictor knot. And again, remove some cord and again, retighten your constrictor knot. Let me show you a second and quite interesting way of making a tamale. Pass your cord over your hand. Come behind. Over your standing hand and behind again. Come over the top behind your standing hand and over the top. Then behind, over the standing hand and behind again. And over the top, behind the standing hand and over the top, and behind, over the standing end, and again behind, and over the top, behind the standing end, and over the top. At some point, you're going to shorten up your cord enough. At that point, you again finish off using some sort of a finishing technique. A hitch, maybe a constrictor knot, whichever way you prefer. So in this case, I'm simply going to do a couple of half hitches. And again, you can easily remove cord out of the tamale and then simply tighten up a bit by pulling on your hitch. And again, remove a bit of cord and tighten up the hitch. So this is another functional way of making a tamale. So guys, that's the tamale. At this point you should have sufficient knowledge to use it in your projects. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you in my future tutorials as well.